In the 1950s, television ads promoted the idea of women as full-time homemakers. Freedom from unnecessary drudgery. Freedom to go shopping when the urge hits you or when there's a sale going on. And while this was a popular idea at the time, not everyone bought into it. New York, and here comes Lady Bird Jacqueline Cochran. Jackie Cochran was one of America's most celebrated women pilots. Goody, goody. And she breaks the woman's coast-to-coast -coast record. In the race, she beat a field of nine top-ranking men flyers, the queen of speed. Jackie Cochran wasn't the only woman pilot breaking barriers in aviation. Jerry Cobb was Woman Pilot of the Year in 1959. Why, isn't that a honey? Say, she is a honey. Meet Miss Jerry Cobb, who's just flown in here to Tyndall Air Force Base to be with us here at Operation William Tell. In 1961, Jackie and Jerry were contacted by Randy Lovelace, the doctor who had designed the physical test for the first male astronauts. Well, I, um, I feel that uh, the problem of, will be one of multiple stresses, and I think Captain Barr and General Flickinger feel the same way. And uh, the way the program is set up, I feel that every man here can uh, withstand the stresses to which they will be subjected. They learn to survive in a variety of hostile environments, including the deserts and jungles of the Earth. But no American woman had ever been an astronaut. Dr. Lovelace wanted to see if women could survive the same rigorous test that the male astronauts had gone through. Dr. Lovelace recruited 13 women pilots, including Jerry Cobb, and ran them through the same test. Jackie, who was very wealthy, paid for the test. Jerry Cobb called the group the Fellow Lady Astronaut Trainees, or the FLATS. Jerry Truehill and Wally Funk, two other women in the group, remember what the testing was like. The thing that hurt was when they injected super, super cold water in our ears. And that would put you into vertigo. You would actually whirl around and around and around. And they wanted to see how long it took you to recover from vertigo. They said, tell us when, when you quit spinning. So I said, I'll quit. And they said, no, you haven't. I said, how do you know I haven't? They said, because your eyeballs are still going around and around. <laughs> The women performed the test as well as the men had, and in some cases, they did even better. And they proved that women were just as physically and mentally capable. All this time, NASA didn't know anything about Dr. Lovelace's testing program. When they found out about it, they put an end to it. And we get this telegram. Regret to advise arrangements at Pensacola canceled. You may return expense allotment to Lovelace Foundation or by letter to me. We will further advise you. There was no explanation. There was no thank you very much. Jerry Cobb set out to prove that women could and should be astronauts. She got press coverage. Ms. Cobb, you argue today that women would make better astronauts in some respects than men. Do you really believe this is true? Uh, this has been proved by doctors and scientists in certain areas. And she testified before Congress. Yet, it would take 20 more years for NASA to launch the first American woman into space. Too late for Jerry Cobb and the other women who went through testing at the Lovelace Clinic. Jerry and those other pilots paved the way for women like me and like Eileen Collins, the first woman commander of the space shuttle. Go at throttle up. I first started thinking about a career in flying when I was a teenager. I went to the library quite a bit, and I remember taking out a book about the women Air Force service pilots, the WASPs, and their leader, Jackie Cochran. And so, I invited them to come to the Cape that day. The first woman commander of a shuttle. I wanted them there so that they understood they had a role in women's history too. Because while these women were never astronauts, they were pioneers, the definition pioneers. They were out there doing it for the first time, for me, and for all the astronauts who came after them.